From the sidewalk in front of the Astor Hotel in Town Square, New York City, WOR Special Features Division, in cooperation with the Treasury Department, presents The Voice of New York, with Gabriel Heater, the well-known news commentator, as the inquiring reporter for the New York War Bond Pledge Campaign. And now, here is Gabriel Heater. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very proud assignment for me. It's probably the most important assignment I've had in all my life. For I'm being sponsored tonight by the United States of America. The United States of America at war. We're speaking to you from outside the Hotel Astor, where several hundred people are gathered here. And the purpose of our broadcast is to let you listen in as I talk to some everyday, typical New Yorkers and people from elsewhere. We're all here, and we're going to talk about New York's great war bond pledge campaign. We're going to talk about Minutemen, the modern Paul Revere. We're going to talk about liberty and fighting to preserve it for you and your children. We're going to talk about victory. Victory made possible in a campaign in which each and every one of us is a soldier. A soldier who lets his dollars fight when he can. That's our big purpose here tonight. And I'm going to begin in just half a second now and talk to a few people here. They're like yourselves, just everyday folks who are determined, I'm sure, to help us win. Now, I wonder if uh, a very charming young lady whom, frankly, I picked half a minute ago because I was very anxious to hear what she had to say, will you come over and uh, it's customary on things like this to tell your name? <laughs> Madge Brown. Madge Brown. Are you a New Yorker, Miss Brown? No, I'm not. You're not. Well, look. Did you know what today's biggest headline was? Today's well, let biggest me tell headline, you. I think, was uh, Sevastopol. The biggest headline of all was eight and a half billion dollars voted by Congressional Committee to build aircraft carriers. That is the finest news in the world. All right. Now, do you know how much it costs to build an aircraft carrier? I'm afraid I don't. Well, it costs somewhere between 50 and 75 million dollars. Mm-hmm. Do you know what it costs to build a plane? Well, around $350,000, I well, Those are the big ones. Yes. They run anywhere from seventy-five dollars to $350,000. In fact, a great big Navy patrol bomber may come as high as $750,000. Oh. Now, you know what we need those planes for? Well, I don't think you have to ask that. But you do know. Oh, I certainly do know. All right. Now, tell me, what are you doing to give Uncle Sam the planes he needs? Well, I'm buying as many stamps as I can. Sam? Yes. Tell me how you do it. Well, I buy 10 cent stamps and 25 cent stamps and 50 cent stamps. When I think I can buy a 10 cent stamp, I buy one. When I feel that I can buy 25 cent stamp, I buy one of those. And Fine. Buy. Now, you know what our campaign is? We want everybody, everybody to make it his or her business to put aside 10% every week, right through the year, and give that your victory. To the best sponsor in the world. Are you coming in? He said it. Good for you. Now then, thank you very, very much. Thank you. And I hope you're going to get the real feel of this as you go along and join with us all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The enthusiasm, the excitement, the eagerness of a typical everyday American woman, eager to do her share and happy to know that we are doing it. Now, this gentleman, I'm very glad to meet you, sir. Let's take care. Mr. Heater, I look forward to the opportunity. Well, great pleasure. May I know your name, sir? Marco, Stano Marco. Mr. Marshall. That's right. Are you in New York, Mr. Marshall? All my life. Good for you. It's a great place to come from. Now, you tell me something about this great campaign we're talking about here. How do you find people reacting to it? Well, I think they're reacting to it very favorably. Uh, numerous friends that I have are very much encouraged over the sales that they've been uh, realizing over the uh, stamps and bonds so far. And, uh, uh, I personally have made quite a bit of an investment in it, and I intend to continue. Do you find people reacting favorably, enthusiastically to all this? Yes, I think I, I think they are even more than enthusiastic, especially those uh, who can't afford, and those who can't afford are doing the best they can. Well, now, I don't know what your business is, but I'm going to talk money to you for just a second. How much would you say it costs to build a submarine? Well, that's difficult for me to say. I'm... I'm in a profession. I'm not in no... Well, no way. let me tell you so that you know how much money we need. Seven million dollars to build a submarine. The kind that think Japanese transport. Well, let's add a couple of Germans with it. Good. Now long. then, what would you say a destroyer cost? Again, I repeat, I haven't the slightest right. but I know that there must be... Let me give you some figures I have here. A destroyer costs anywhere between eight and twelve million dollars. A large cruiser, seventy-six million dollars. A heavy cruiser, $41 million. And a light cruiser, $34 million. 
Now, you can see why we need all this money. Well, I certainly do. I think it should be the duty of every American, every every alien, anyone who lives in this country who has the privilege of living here to do their utmost in purchasing as many bonds and stamps as they possibly can. Yes, indeed. And as I look around here over our audience and I see men in uniform, men who are giving not money but giving their lives, their work, their sacrifice, I'm beginning to realize what a tremendous thing it is to be able to do one's part in the purchase of bonds. You know, one thing we're trying very hard to get over is to get every company to sign up every man and this employee in these pledges. Do you find any excitement along those lines? Well, yes, among friends of mine who are in business. But I personally being in a profession, I, well, I don't have any such... Uh, in profession. your profession, I hope you'll find it possible to spread the gospel along in a good I'm way. Doing the best I can. Thank you for coming up, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, let's see. Good Let night. me have another lady. Fine. Uh... So you introduce yourself. Well, my name is Edna Vincent. How do you feel in front of this audience? Uh, well, I'm very excited. This is my first time in New York. This first evening. time in New York this evening. <laughs> well, this is an event in broadcasting right in front of a hotel answer. Yes. Well, Miss Vincent, where are you from? Los Angeles. A good place indeed. Well, Tell me, <laughs> have you been, what do you think about this great campaign to raise money from the It's very wonderful. We do it in Los Angeles also. Yes, I'm sure we're going to do it all over America. This is America's war. You you understand? Uh, by the way, are you married? No, I have a sister who's had a divorce. Well. Uh, well thank you for a husband. <laughs> for a husband? You couldn't come to a better place. See all these men now. <laughs> now, I'm not sure that I can get you a husband, but I do know this. I can get you liberty. Not for liberty, you just got into the ball. <laughs> I mean, liberty with count. And you can get that by doing your share of purchase the bond. Do you understand what we mean by the war pledge? Yes. I pledge so much out of my salary every week ever since we started. I have three or four bonds now. Good. Now, do you do that through a company or do you do that yourself? No, at a company where we work. The whole company is doing it. I see. All the employees. Who got the idea of the employees or the company? I think the company. And everybody came along, of course. Yes, but one or two, I'll get someone like that. Well, good for you. Well, you can see how much it means to be able to tell all these people and those who are listening in how we can do it. And there's one thing I know that I'd like you to say to the radio audience, if you will. When a minute man rings your doorbell, what do you do? I'll open the door and let him in. And make him welcome. Yes. yes, because he comes on important business. And if we all only take a minute to sign up and do everything we have to do, There'll be minutes and hours and days and years of glory for us all, won't there? Yes, sir, well. But I'm certainly much obliged to you for coming over. And I do hope you'll enjoy your stay in New York. And uh, you'll find a husband. (laughs) I'm sure of it. She's most charming. I know she'll find a husband. Now, how do you do, sir? 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 Very glad to know you, sir. You look like a typical New Yorker, are you? Well, that's what they, that's what they call me. Good to you. Yes, and uh, you want to tell us uh, your name? And, uh, oh, yes. My name is Seth, Harry Seth. Harry Seth. Yes, sir. You're a businessman. Well, I happen to be working as a clerk at the Hotel Woodrow on 54th Street. Oh, yes. That's just a little way up here. Yes, sir, that's all. Well, you meet a lot of people in your work, don't you? Oh, yes, you? very many. Do you find people talking about the uh, New York war bond campaign? Yes, sir, very much so. Everybody's excited about it. Oh, yes. Most all people are. How do they handle these matters for people at a hotel? Well, it so happens in the particular hotel I'm in, our manager, Mr. Amigo, happens to be the main man over there. And uh, he, of course, is a very likable and very fine gentleman. And I don't think there's anyone gets in the entire hotel who isn't most obligated not only to him, but also to the country and in buying world bonds. I'm almost free to every single one. What does he do? Ring doorbell? Ask the doorbell? He stops them before they go upstairs. Before they go upstairs... Before they have a chance to get in the hotel, they have to sign their pledge, and he makes sure they do. Well, it's an easy thing to sell, isn't it? Oh, yes, and everybody's <laughs> more than glad to. They're more than glad yes, to pledge all they possibly can. I'm sure of it. Yes, and uh, if you've got any suggestions to give me in this few minutes that remain, in which you think I can tell people that I'm overwhelming, well, I wish you would. The only thing I would say is this. That due to the fact that uh, America must realize that it must everybody in this in this good United States must do their share, everybody's not only... Be obligated and buy all the bonds you possibly can, but make all the friends and all the relatives and everybody to know, buy them. That should be the word. Buy war bonds. Good for you. That's an excellent slogan. And let me congratulate you, sir. And thank you very, very much. I want to add to what this gentleman has just said. If any of you listening in will take this number, Murray Hill 32581, 
Murray Hill 3, 2, 5, 8, 1. If I'm overlooking anything at all, Mur- uh, that's wrong, Murray Hill 2, 2, 5, 8, 1. Murray Hill 2, 2, 5, 8, 1. If I'm overlooking any details in this information, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you would call that number. You'll find somebody very happy to fill out anything you want to know. Now, another lady, please. How do you do, Miss? How do you do? Uh, your name? Katrina Kirkbride. Kirkbride? Mrs. Mrs. Kirkbride. Well, it's good to have you come over here and help us spread the gospel of the war bond. Well, I'm more delighted and eager to do anything I can. I'm sure you are. Are you from New York? I should say I am. Tell me, you meet a good many uh, housewives? Yes, I do. Uh, do you find that housewives tend just what we are after in this campaign? I think they are now, yes. Everybody? I don't think anybody can do enough. And the more they do, yes. the better, but... Are uh, the Minutemen being made welcome? They certainly are. It's amazing. I see how everybody receives them. I wonder if you knew that in this pledge, that there's no legal contract about this pledge, that Uncle Sam merely leaves it to you and your conscience and says, invest 10% of your earnings in liberty. Do it every week. Do it all year round. And from that point on, it stops. I mean, no investigation, no legal contract, no attempt to hold you to anything. It's a matter between you and your conscience. Is that... Do you find most people realize that? I think so, definitely. Well, now, before you go, okay. tell me, this wonderful audience that you see here, do you... I hear a baby right in this crowd. Do you hear one? I say yes. Well, now, that baby is the one we're selling buns for. I have two that I've bought some for myself. Good. You're about And I know how important Fine. it is to their future. Fine. And one that I hope to be a grandfather of one day before long. <laughs> that baby. The point is... We're selling bonds to make sure that people can walk on these sidewalks just as they walk here now. To go where they please and come where they please and the only interference of traffic lights for their own safety. No one to salute, no one to fear. People who are free, that's what we're after in this campaign. Now you tell us that we're on the right track. I certainly will. <laughs> well, I do want to thank you very much. And I want to thank all of you who've been kind enough to come up here and those of you who so patiently are giving us the living audience for this program. And to you, the radio audience, let me please say in signing off, I know I don't have to tell the people of America to buy bonds. It would be insulting to the American people's patriotism to tell them they have to buy. They buy willingly enough. The whole purpose of this broadcast is merely to acquaint you with the machinery, the details, to urge you in your companies, in your factories, in your offices, on your blocks, in your homes, to group together and give Uncle Sam this pledge for victory. Now this is Gabriel Heater signing off in what he considers to be the most important broadcast in nine years. Thank you very much. From the sidewalk in front of the Astor Hotel, Times Square, New York City, WR Special Features Division, in cooperation with the Treasury Department, has presented the Voice of New York with Gabriel Heater, the well-known news commentator, as the inquiring reporter for the New York War Bond Pledge Campaign. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.